Yeah. All right. Uh, next theorem we have to prove is Markov's inequality. Uh, so what Markov's inequality says is the expected value that x is greater than or equal to t is less than or equal to the expected value of that is not expected value, this is probability, is the expected value of x uh, is less than or equal to the expected value of x over t. So proving this uh, proof. The way we're going to prove this is by uh, just thinking, uh, really. That's how it's done. So if you think of x as a random variable, uh, if we have x of omega, right? So this is always greater than or equal to uh, it's always greater than or equal to t or zero. Uh, t if uh, x of omega is greater than or equal to t, and x of omega less than or equal to t. So we have this. We are then going to do uh, an indicator function. So that means uh, we're going to indicate whether uh, x of omega is greater than t or less than t. So this, on this side, it just becomes uh, t times the indicator function of a, where a is the event is the event uh, x of omega is greater than or equal to t, right? Because we can just pull a t out from there, and then we get an indicator function. So we get that this is greater than or equal to x, because we do this for all omega. Now when we take the expected value on both sides, we get that the expected value of x is greater than or equal to t, well, what's the indicator function of a, where a is this event? Well, it's the probability that x is just greater than or equal to t. Now, if we just clean it up, we get expected value of x over t greater than or equal to probability x is greater than or equal to t. That is the same as that, so we are done. That's how you prove Markov's inequality.